Hey, good morning and welcome back to the Kyle Family Homestead and Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2023 and I hope everyone out there had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's with your family and I hope uh, 2023 brings you many blessings. I know it will us here at the Kyle Family Homestead. I just wanted to give a little update on the garden behind us and how we fared through this last Arctic blast here we got here in North Florida and along with everybody else in the country. Um, things didn't fare too well. As you can see, there's a lot of brown, wilty, yucky looking stuff behind me. Some things did okay. Uh, some things I have high hope for and a few things just are, just are not gonna make it. Uh, I think the most depressing thing and sad thing to me about the whole entire Arctic blast and killing our stuff is our lime tree. Uh, I'll show you that here in a few minutes, but it does not look good. Um, I have a little bit of hope for it, but not much. Um, I think we're going to have to cut a lot of it back. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see the spring if any new growth starts to pop up. Um, it doesn't look like any of the branches really got damaged uh, except the tips. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll pull through for us because I really love that lime tree. Uh, our little citrus uh, trees that we had in the pots, uh, they got burnt back a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, our fig trees, you know, they all pretty much kind of died back, but they should be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what, uh, what happened during the freeze here. Okay, I'm going to start out with the onions. So I really wanted to put pine straw on these, but I couldn't find any in time. Uh, so I just put some hay down because I already had it. And it really looks like the hay helped uh, help protect the onions, the onion tops from getting burnt back too much. And uh, I have really high hopes for these. So the onions look like they did pretty good. Uh, the Chinese cabbage, however, did not. Um, there is some new growth popping through the middle. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we'll get a little bit from them. But it doesn't really look that great. Uh, bok choy, bok choy did really well. Uh, Morse heading, Morse heading cabbage did well. Uh, purple lady cabbage, I'm sorry, purple lady bok choy. They did not do well. I don't think those are going to make it. And again, the Chinese cabbage here got bit back pretty good. Uh, all of these cauliflower and broccoli here. Um, plants don't look good, but you can still see here. In the middle, we do have some some cauliflower heads popping through, and I think that they were protected enough that we will get some cauliflower from a few plants. Uh, however, the broccoli, you can see, I didn't pick the little ones, so the little ones, um, they're pretty much they're toast, and the broccoli plants themselves are fairly toast, so they didn't do good. We pretty much lost all those. Uh, most of the cabbage, most of the cabbage did good. Uh, we do have some leaves that got damaged, but um, the small heads that are forming, they didn't, they didn't split. At least uh, I can't tell if they split. Um, just from, you know, grabbing the heads from the outside and squeezing them and kind of peeking in the leaves, it doesn't, sh it doesn't really seem like there, there is any splitting to them. So hopefully we fared well on the cabbage. Um, let me show you here. This is one of the best ones we have. You can see uh, it's about the size of a softball, maybe a little bit bigger, um, but it's firm. It doesn't seem like it's split. The leaves are still nice and crisp and firm. So um, those are fine. I don't have my sheet with me, so I don't know what. I think these are Wakefield. Boris Wakefield. Uh, or Wakefield cabbage, I believe that these are. Um, again, the heads feel really firm, really nice on um, the outside of the leaves. You know, they don't look really good from the outside, but I think we'll be okay on those. Um, these Chinese cabbage look terrible. Might be able to, to salvage a few, uh, a few of the, the inside cores of the Chinese cabbage. And these are, oh gosh, what are these? These are Georgia collards, I think Georgia. Yeah, I think this side's Georgia collards, and they got beat up pretty good, which is kind of surprising. 
Um, there are a, lo a lot of them there look fine, but you know, then you come to the next plant over here and you know, they can, you can see that they got, some of them got really beat up. And these collards did good. I forget the name of these. Again, I don't have my sheet with me. I, uh, my memory is mush now <clears throat> with all that's going on here on the homestead. But yeah, these collards, again, they did fairly well. Our carrots actually, swing out here to the carrots. Our carrots do not look good. And I thought, I'm gonna pull a couple up here while I'm here. I thought for sure that these carrots, actually, I'm not gonna pull them up, but you can see them poking through. I thought that they would fare a lot better than they did. Uh, I was going to overwinter these, you know, and pull them late February, early March, but I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? The tops look terrible. I'm afraid of the tops dying back and them not doing too well. You can see them here. Uh, planted them a little too close, but that's okay. My wife hates it when I plant them close like this, but we get a good harvest when we plant nice and close. They're just, uh, they're tough, they're tough to pull out and, uh, and get out of the ground when they're that close, but we'll, we'll figure it out. And all the ones that are in the pots, these are all gone. Every one of these did not fare well at all. We got, we got a good few heads from these anyway, which we showed on the last video. You know, we'll get some little ones like that. That'll still, they'll still eat fine. And last but not least, our onions over here in the pots. Again, I put hay on them. Um, I think they'll pull through. You'll see the top, some of these tops just die completely back, but we do have green poking through here again. Um, so I think we'll be fine on those onions in the pots. All right, here's our lime tree. As you can see, it looks really bad. The, uh, the tips are, you know, they're still Still some green left in the tips. Um, it just looks like the leaves got damaged. But time will tell on this, you know, we'll know early spring if uh, new growth starts popping out and new leaves start forming. If the lime tree was able to be saved, let me back up a little bit. You can see this poor little guy here got, got in some rough shape. <clears throat> and here are another handful of the citrus that we had in the pots. Um, again, you can see some of the leaves got burned back and curled up, but that's it of my poor little lime tree and our, our citrus, you know, fingers crossed that everything, everything makes it out okay. And if not, we will start over from scratch. We're not giving up just because of a little, a little bit of a cold snap. All right, that's, uh, that's it for our little update. I just wanted to uh, say hello and happy new year to everybody and give a quick update on our, uh, on our garden throughout this, this pretty hard freeze that we had. Uh, we do have a ton going on here at the homestead over the next uh, several weeks. Uh, we have to remove our mobile home that we were living in uh, previously before we built our new home. Um, if you didn't catch the, the not so subtle hints on our last video, our home is completed. Uh, we are now living in it, uh, roughly living in it, because half of our stuff is still in the, in the mobile home that we're living in, and the other half is in the new house. So we're having to pack up a lot, do a lot of unpacking, uh, a lot of sorting through 25 years of stuff, which you can imagine is a chore within itself. Um, it's fun and daunting going through all the stuff that you've accumulated. <laughs> um, more daunting than fun. But... We're getting through it, and as soon as we get a, a good hold on our situation here and we get uh, settled in a little bit, we will be showing you the new house and, you know, the completed version of what we what we finished. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of work to do, and until then, uh, we'll, we might pop in here with a, a quick video before we show the house, um, you know, just to say hello. But, yeah, you guys have a, a great New Year's Day and New Year's weekend. And we'll be seeing you soon.